forget the Rangers game, I'm, I'm delighted with the back-to-back -back victories. I'm delighted that since the start of the, the second round of fixtures, we've, out of the four games, we've kept three clean sheets, we've got nine points. So in, we've got more points from this round of fixtures after four games than, than we did in the first round, which is a positive start. Um, the only loss being the one to Celtic, which we were well beaten on the day. Um, but they're a very good side. And, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with that. Delighted for the players in terms of them now getting the rewards, I believe, that they deserve from certain games in the first round of fixtures. But Saturday's or tomorrow's a massive test. It's We're going to look the home of the champions. Or they are the best team in the country on on paper from last season. And, and they're on a bit of a transition period at the minute with a new manager, but they still look very dangerous. How important... Is it for you to get these wins, particularly at this point in the season, when we go into such a, a busy period, and, and to start that off on, on such a good footing? It was really important because we we set targets and, and we hadn't met them in the first set of fixtures. We've obviously got our targets for for this round of fixtures as well. It's been a good start. See, but I'm really I'm really pleased with the clean sheets. Um, pleased that the wins are coming and convincing wins. Say Motherwell, I thought the other night we were convincing as well. St Marin was, was a really tough game down there, really tough place to go, and they were in a good running for them. I think we deserve, we did deserve that victory as well. So it's been, they've got what they've, what they've deserved, and there's been games in that, that first set of fixtures we, we got. We got what we deserved against Ross County, let's not beat around the bush, which was a, a real sore one that night. but leave games in that first round, Livingston here, St Mirren here, Pibs here, we didn't get the wins that, that probably we could have got, Rangers here we should have got something out of the game, but that's all ifs and buts, and so to answer that question I'm just pleased now that, that they're getting the, the results that, that they're working ever so hard to, to achieve. And how confident are you that you can keep it going against Rangers, because obviously we know how much, uh, how important momentum can be, we saw that last season, um, towards the end of the season, you know, that's really important for Dundee and, you know, to now face a, a, a team like Rangers at this point is, is going to be tough, but how confident are you you can keep this going? We need to be our best. We need to go in there with a game plan and be defensively sound, but we also need to have have players on the pitch that can that can be a threat to Rangers and go and try and impose our, our game plan on them. But look, we know how hard this is going to be. They are, a, as I say, they're a top side. We've shown that domestically, we've shown in Europe that they can beat very good teams in Europe over the past wee while. And look, as I say, they're in a transition period at the minute with a new manager. They're, they are playing differently to the way they did under under Stephen Gerrard, Gary McAllister, Michael Beale, and the rest of their staff that done a fantastic job in there. And, and their new manager will be looking to implement his style, so it's it's a tough task, but so we've got to just concentrate on ourselves and go in there and give a good account of ourselves and, and believe that we can come away with a positive result. And how is your team using injury illness situation going forward? Not great. Not happy? No, not great at the minute. Um, well, we're low on numbers. As I say, we, had, we only had six subs in the bench the other night. Um, we couldn't put another younger one on because we've got them all out on loan or most of them out on loan that, and some of them that aren't, aren't even full time so we had six subs and, and we don't know what the case will be tomorrow but we'll assess that today it's, it's, been, a, it's been a tough week but it's, a been, it's been a rewarding week for the football club so far but we want to, can we go in and, and, and top it off with getting a positive performance and result tomorrow that's the aim but yeah, we've we've we'll got a few injuries and niggles and we'll we'll assess that in the morning and, and pick a team that we believe can, can go in there and put on a performance that that can hopefully make the Dundee fans proud. Okay. Thanks. Uh, just on that now, do you have any update on uh, Lee Ashcroft? Because he's got none of us standing. None yet. So looking ahead to the game, you know, this weekend you've got Rangers and you've said a few times this season and, and just again today that you know the performance you've put in against them earlier in the season kind of probably deserved the result. But do you feel confident enough now, given the momentum you're in, that you can go there and, and get the result that you feel you deserved out of? I think it'll be a completely different game. No, I can guarantee it'll be a completely different game. One, it's a, it's at their place where 
they are better. Um, that's that's a fact. It'll be a full house. It's a fantastic place to go and play football. I've never managed there, but it's a fantastic place to go and play with the atmosphere. They're they've got a different manager, a different style of play. But the one thing you can guarantee is we've still got the top quality players. Um, one at eleven through the pitch. But whatever way they go, whatever shape, formation, it's down to the players on the pitch. We know that. And we need to be our best to, to match that and, and hope we catch them on an off day. And but as I say, we, we have to have a game plan that can that can stand up to them. And then we also have to have a a game plan that can that can hurt them at times in the game as well with we, we what we've got. And we've got players in the team that that we've shown we can do that, but we're not naive enough to say because we we done okay against them here, we get nothing out of the game. They get the three points, so it's irrelevant what how well we done. Um, does it give us confidence? Probably not, because they're a completely different team. They're playing a different way. But again, it's it's eleven v eleven, and, and you've always got a chance. So we've got to believe that and go in there, and go in way on the back of two two wins, on the back of three clean sheets out of four four games and. And build on that, and and use that as an incentive to, to get a positive result in there. I mean, after a bit of a difficult first set of round of fixtures, you know the team's now in great form, sitting joint third in the, the kind of form table at the moment, just behind Celtic and Rangers. Do you think that's the team now kind of showing the, the kind of promise that they kind of showed earlier, getting these performances and results, and kind of showing exactly what what this squad's made of? Yeah, most definitely. I think that I know their games that on another day. We should have come out and top um, in the first set of fixtures. It's all irrelevant, really, because we, we didn't, but you can use it. Motherwell at Motherwell, we should have been out of sight um, in the league game down there. Hibs here, we talk about VAR, it was a big discussion last night, but you talk about VAR, the Hibs game here, if VAR was in, then again, it's all ifs and buts, but potentially we win that game because the, the penalty isn't the penalty. And then Rangers, you could say, yeah, if we score, we get a point, but it didn't happen, so there's, there's no point looking back on it now, but we use the positives from it, and there was some really good good play, but I think now we're, we're consistently putting putting the performances in over the 90-minute period, or the 94, 95, however long, they keep adding on six minutes here or there for some reason, and it's never ending, um, it's okay when you're 3-0 up, but maybe not so good the other night, when it's 1-0 and you're hanging on, and but no, look, we're, we're starting to, to show a bit of resilience and and that's credit to the players. The players have been magnificent. They've kept believing in what we're doing like they did last year and they got us promoted and, and we'll continue to do that. We'll continue to work and strive to get better and, and be a better football club and, and make these fans proud again. We spoke about him a little bit midweek when he scored again, Danny Miller, in, in great form. Just how pleased are you with what he's bringing to the team, not only in goals but just in, in work rate and, and all around play? Yeah, I'm pleased for him. Tried to sign him in my first transfer window and it fell through with five minutes to go. It was almost done. And he's, he's a player I've admired for a while. He's he's a great player to have in your team. He, he does a lot, a lot of work. He also adds goals as well. And he scored some important goals at every club he's been at. Another one the other night as well for us. So, yeah, I'm delighted for Danny because he's not had a great, a great run of a game because of injury, I can relate to that, so I feel for him on that, but he's looking good, he's fit, he's, he's strong and he's, he's he's in good form and he's, he's keeping, at the minute, two, two international strikers, three if you can, Killian's obviously injured, but two international strikers out of the team, so that, that tells you all you need to know about Danny Mullen, but that's not to say that those other two aren't, aren't itching to, to go on the pitch as well and and displace Danny or play beside Danny. That's that's the other option. And just finally for me, this weekend's game, the away fans have been told that there will be sort of check for vaccine passports and, and sort of like the full week of the game. Do you have any thoughts on that at all? No. Okay. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thanks.